In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the use of toolbox components with the use of 3D Experience SolidWorks. Let's dive in. All right, so in this video, we're not going to be going into depth on how to use every single toolbox component. It's more just how they are used with 3D Experience SolidWorks and how that translate if you're used to using toolbox components with desktop SolidWorks. So here I have assembly with a single part. If you open up the taskbar here, you can see that both the assembly and the part have been saved and they are both saved to the collaborative space, my collaborative space. Now, if you go to the design library, you will still see toolbox in 3D Experience SolidWorks. So you can go in and you can find all of the typical toolbox components you'd be used to. But if you hover over them, you can see where they're installed. Uh, in my case, it's installed locally. Now, how toolbox components will work is it will reference that file. So here you can see that there's a warning. It's installed on this computer. It's acceptable for a single user environment, but it's not recommended for a multiple user environment. So what will happen is if you were to save off an assembly and someone was to open it without the uh, fasteners installed in the same exact file location, then it would try to reference them and it wouldn't be able to find them. Now with 3D Experience SolidWorks, all of your data is saved to the cloud. So how does that translate? Well, they have it set up so it's actually really easy. It does it all for you and you may not even know what's going on in the background if you hadn't watched this video. With toolbox components, you can just click and drag and drop them into your assembly as if you were using desktop SolidWorks. You can go through, choose your size, configure your fasteners as you desire, and create, uh, enter the component into your assembly. Now, what will actually happen is whenever you enter a toolbox component into a SOLIDWORKS assembly when using 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS, it will automatically create a part and save that part to the common space collaborative space on your platform. So now if we're op to open this task pane, we'll see that the bolt has been added, has already been saved, even though I didn't touch save. And you'll see that it's also in a release state. This will keep anybody from making changes to these fasteners because everybody on your platform will be able to utilize the same fasteners. So now if we were to go to my collaborative space and refresh, you can see that this bolt has now been added to the common space. And it will do this for everyone on the platform. So as they start to put more and more toolbox components into your assemblies, it will automatically save them here. Now, another cool thing about this feature with 3D Experience SolidWorks is that if you open up uh, an assembly that is referencing toolbox components from someone else, it will automatically save all of those to the platform as well. Now, something else to note is if you were to use the export SolidWorks files option, it will appear that it is exporting it as a SolidWorks part. If you're used to desktop, you used to see an option to include toolbox components with a, a pack and go or anything like that. You don't have to worry about that here. Once you export these, even if someone opens it up with desktop without any kind of 3D experience PLM connector, it will still come in as a toolbox component. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention is that even though these fasteners are saved in a collaborative space and you're so used to going and searching and clicking and dragging and dropping into SOLIDWORKS to open, you don't actually do that with the toolbox components. In fact, if you attempt to search, you will find it, but if you attempt to open it within SOLIDWORKS by dragging and dropping, you will receive a warning uh, and it will state that you should still use the library task pane. So even though they're saved on the platform, you still will be able to use the toolbox components just as you did with desktop SOLIDWORKS. So all you have to do is come to the design library, drop down toolbox and find the fasteners and toolbox components that you need. Go ahead and click and drag. And even though they're on the platform that you will use them just as if they were in this task pane here. And that's all you need to know for using toolbox components with 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching and be sure to reach out if you have any questions.